Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome to the Chapter 2 finale of Let's Play Paper Mario! Since last time, I've rearranged my bad setup as I have listed in the video description there. Really, the most important ones are Shrink Stomp, D-Down Pound, we're gonna need those. Power Plus and Damage Dodge are nice if you have them. And HP and FP Plus are pretty much just filler, so if you want to use something else, you could. I just didn't really think of anything else was gonna be that useful. Why is it so dark in here with those torches lit? Who's there? Well, that actually is kind of creepy. What kind of hat is that, anyway? I don't know. I mean, I don't know what you would call that. I know, like, pharaohs were, would wear that or something like that. How are we supposed to damage someone who can do that with their body? Holy cow! What's wrong with you? Well, oh, okay. Well, sorry, but I gotta rescue that star spirit. If you could just hand it over, we can uh, get on with it. Or we could put you to rest in peace. For boss time against the Rootin' Tootin' Koopa himself. Okay, first things first, let's get a good tattle in there. See what we're dealing with. I like how each of the boss, or major bosses in the game for the chapters, has their own boss theme, so... Yeah, I like that. Put a little variety in there. Well. Yeah, watch out for that attack. That's why I've got Shrink Stomp. Hopefully, I can get that through, or I could dodge it or block it. But blocking it is really hard for me. Okay, I'll watch out for them. Okay, so on his first turn, he's just going to summon a Chomp. So I'm just going to use a regular jump. I don't want to waste my FP on uh, Shrink Stomp there. Well, how hard could he possibly be? Well, literally, he is really hard. Okay, well, let's see what we got there. Goombario? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. What? Looks like he's having a bad day, huh? Okay, well anyway, I do want to take out the chomp, so let's go with the D-Down Pound to pierce that three defense. Holy cow. Watch it. Ha! All right, yeah, blocking that, pretty easy. And I didn't want to shrink stomp him because, well, I had to deal with the chomp, but also because if he's shrunk, he, uh, instead of throwing a shell, he'll cast a magic spell on you, which would be even worse. Nuts. Oh man, I really needed to get him shrunk there, but I couldn't do it. So, oh well. Let's get Paracarry out now that we're done with that. Oh, what's this? Hey, hey, all right. See what I can do against this magic spell. I am really bad at dodging it. So I'll see what I can do. They just come out of nowhere, practically. Hey, hey, all right. Yeah, I tried practicing earlier today, but, uh, all right. Ha! Okay, let's just go with regular jump because he's going to, uh, summon another chomp. So that's basically what he does. He goes, uh, summon chomp, then throw a buzzy beetle shell at you, and then a magic spell. He has a couple magic spells, though. But anyway, yeah, we gotta take that guy out. Gotcha. Okay, let's go for another uh, shell shot. Turtle power! Ha! Okay, I think we can finish him off now. I don't even need to use shrink stomp. And let's see, another uh, shell shot ought to do. Ha! All right! Wow, that went perfectly. Too bad I couldn't get Merlovely to give me an experience boost in this battle, but oh well. Uh, let's see. Let's go for more badge points. Uh-oh. Nice kitty. <laughs> well, more like a dog from Link's Awakening, but you know what I mean.
So how do we turn them back from uh, from playing cards? I don't know. Oh, but she's got a cute little ribbon. Maybe she'll give me something better than dog food for the ribbon. Would be nice. But all right, chapter two beat. Oh, it's like Memar. Who's that? Oh, right, the star. How did the Tootin' Koopa get into this place anyway? Probably the Star Rod, I would imagine. Maybe Bowser teleported in, him in, or maybe the ruin. He excavated the ruins, threw the Tootin' to Koopa in there with the Star Spirit, and then hid the ruins again, or something. I mean, heck, you did that with Peach's Castle. Why not? Yeah, let's save just in case. Uh oh, more bad news, huh? Why do you keep on checking in on Peach? Well, then maybe you should stop trying to kill people. But well, most of them got away, didn't they? Yeah, pretty much. If Bowser's the worst thing that ever happens to your kingdom, Peach, consider yourself lucky. Why not? Hey, hey, all right! Oh, well, now you say that. Everybody needs respect. Uh-oh! You gonna put the strongest one at third, boss? How invincible could he possibly be? What's going on? Don't you already know that I uh, beat Tootin Koopa? Oh, well, good. That'll make it easier. Well, too late now. On the other side of the room, or... No? Okay. How did that door shut? Well, probably magic. That was pretty easy. Well, then why do we need to worry about Tubba Blubba? We don't need to kill him. Nah, he's screwed! Well, do the best we can. Metal Gear Peach. I like strawberries better, but peach will do in a pinch. But anyway, okay. Gotta get out of here, same way we did before, and try to, well, go wherever we can, really. Whoa! No, not there. Back. Good. Now this time we'll actually be able to get out into the hallway there, and... Well, literally Metal Gear... Well, maybe not literally, but... More like Metal Gear Salad, where we gotta do stealth and stuff. At least, I would imagine that's what you do in that game. I don't know. I never touched a Metal Gear Salad game. But anyway, okay. So, before actually progressing with the plot, let's go over here. Well, we do have to go here to progress the plot, too. But later, let's get into the library and take a look around. Okay, let's get behind the... I don't know what these are. The index boxes? Kind of look like P.O. boxes or something. I don't know. But anyway, okay. So, stay behind the bookshelf. Get over here. Basically, just don't get in a line of sight with them, and you'll be fine. Oh, what's that? Well, yeah, you don't want to go down yet, or he'll catch you there. Yeah, it comes from right out the screen. What do we got here? Hey, all right, danger music. I mean, uh, danger badges. So yeah, that one could be pretty good for Mario. I'll use it every now and then, but I'm not gonna go out of my way to make a setup with that permanently. Now I wanna stay here until that guy moves. All right. What is this, Ocarina of Time? 
Kind of reminds me of that. Okay. I could just get caught and thrown back in my room, but I actually want to not have to go through that hallway again if I can avoid it. Okay, now that we got that, let's get to the right side. Whoa, whoa. Okay, whew. Let's see, not that room. This room. Oh, a treasure chest. Have I seen that one before? Hmm. Well, let's see what we got inside. Ah, well, what's inside? What does it do? <laughs> oh, really? Well, if you do recall there's a chest like that at the uh, oh what's her name the lady who lives on star hill that place that wasn't more lovely uh, uh i can't believe it. i can't remember her name now i hardly ever talked to her so that's probably why mer something i would imagine but anyway okay so what we can do is drop off these two badges in the chest so that way Mario can get them later. So we're going to be doing that a lot between chapters. Dropping stuff off here so that we can help out Mario that way. Okay, now in order to progress with the plot, we actually have to go through the library. So, yeah, now we got to go through to the end of the library, that is. So, let's see. We can't jump with Peach, unfortunately. If we could, we could get some more stuff. But right now, nah. Maybe I could have made it over there if I was quick enough, but... Yeah, I can't even dash with Peach either. Oh, well. Okay, wait for it. Doing good. Alright. Fortunately, these guys have no peripheral vision. So, really easy for me to sneak around so that they won't throw me back in the room. Careful. Awesome. Let's see what they got over here. Oh, there's a life stream up there. Oh, why is that? How do you eat a ghost? How does that even work? Oh, yeah, we heard about that place. It's uh, to the east of uh, Toad Town there. The screen that has the Toad Town tunnels. I think that was it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, well, sounds like a steady supply of food for the guy. Whoa. Ha <laughs> Scared cat. Wow. Nah, that couldn't possibly be true. He was already invincible anyway. Oh, what's that? Oh, maybe. Gotta work out to get invincible like that. But he's not here. Maybe we should tell Mario not to give up. Really? Hmm? Yeah, you two. Yeah, what are they doing in here anyway? Uh-oh. Nuts. Run away, Twink! Save yourself! You have so much to live for! If only there were a way we could get up there to get that life stream, but sadly, I cannot. Oh well. Oh, so what do you do? I'll do the best I can. Two for seven. Oh, what's this? All right, now we got two. Two bars of star energy. Ah, ah, ah. 
but yeah, basically puts all enemies to sleep. So, yeah, I, I don't think I've ever used that. Because <laughs> usually if they're random enemies, I'll usually just kill them outright. Or, or yeah. And if it's like a boss, I wouldn't want to use sleep on them anyway. So, yeah, kind of pointless. I'll do the best I can. Oh, good for you. I think this star power uses still only uses one star. There are different star powers that use like more stars or more bars, I should say. But okay, so oh, am I already at full? Oh yeah, I'm at full already. Okay, okay. Well, now what I need to do is I need to get back to uh, Colorado. There, I need to give him that artifact we found. So I'll just meet you back down there, down three and left two, I believe. Okay, we're back at uh, Colorado's dig site. Huh? Maybe. What's up? Yeah, what about it? It's mine. No, you're just seeing things. It's a mirage. Okay, fine. Yeah, let's give it to him. Cheerio. Well, I've already been there. Nothing much left now. But anyway, for giving that to him, what do we get? Ooh, another one. Awesome. Can never have enough star pieces. Well, all right, now let's uh, get back to the train station there. There's another item I can get there, too. Okay, we're back. So anyway, on this screen here, haha! -ha, could have done that earlier once I got this super hammer, but I figured we might as well uh, do this now while we're here. So let's upgrade Bombat. We're gonna get another uh, super block soon anyway, but yeah, I'll give it to her because I like her better. Hey, hey all right. Oh, that was easy enough. Is this the screen with the train station? I thought it was. Uh, where are we? Yeah, it is the screen with the railroad. Okay, for some reason I thought I might have been thinking of something else. So yeah, let's just uh, get back to Toad Town there. Let's see. Well, now that we're at the end of chapter two, we can get some more badges there. Got lots of side quests this time around. Some of them, I don't think we can trigger until Chapter 3. Like, uh, what is it, Colorado's at that dig site there? And I don't think he'll move until you start Chapter 3. If there's, like, another trigger to it instead, let me know, viewers. But I I haven't been able to get him to move until then. Because once he moves, then I can hit the tree, and I think I get a letter out of it, if I recall correctly. But, all right, we made it back. Now, remember when we were at uh, the Dry Dry Outpost, there was a composer there who was looking for some lyrics? Well, now we can get them for him, so let's do that. Remember, in order to trigger this side quest, you had to have already talked to the composer at Dry Dry Outpost. It's the rightmost house on the first screen of the village. But anyway, okay, let's talk to you. Oh, what is it? I'm not really a knight, but whatever works for you. All right, good for you. Can I hear the song? Hmm? Oh, aren't you going to be the music? Nice. Hmm. If only we knew a composer who could write music. Perhaps Mario can. I have immensely more important things to do, but sure, why not? Nothing extraordinary that you get out of doing this side quest, but we might as well. Okay, well, now we got the lyrics, so we gotta take that over to the composer. 
I'm not gonna do that right now, but eventually. Let's see. Nope. No, uh... Uh, what is it? No Chuck Quizmo. I'm looking for him around here somewhere. Okay, well, let's get some uh, new badges from Ralph's bad shop here. See what you got. Let's see. Double dip. I use it every now and then, but not too often. I don't use it most of the time, but... Yeah, basically, like the W item materia. But might as well. I got plenty of money. Might as well use it. Let's see. Dodge Master. One of my favorite badges in the game. It costs uh, two badge points, if I recall correctly. And not only does it help you or increase the margin for error for your uh, dodging, as it would seem to indicate, but it also works on your timing commands for your attacks, too. So, yeah, it really helps out a lot. And what do we get with this one? Yeah, basically, same thing as Shrink Stop, except it puts them to sleep. I don't use that because I think that's pretty abusive, especially on bosses, but I'm going to get it anyway. All right. Okay, well, let's see. Do I need to rest up at all? No, I didn't uh, fight any enemies here, so. Okay. I wonder what new favors Koopa Coot has for us to do now. Find out next time on Let's Play Paper Mario. This is H.G. Bailey signing off. Have a good day!